Hey there Scorpio, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for October 16th through the 22nd, so let's jump in and see what's on the cards for you Scorpio. Uh, before I jump in, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button for me, you might want to think about leaving me a comment, and please do hit subscribe, that is what keeps the readings coming in an engagement based algorithm, and it also helps build our community here. And uh, if you've been following me um, for a while, you'll know that I do um, build connections in the comments and reply to pretty much every single one and have done for five years consistent now. So it really helps me read for your energy and for the collective when we have that connection. So that would be amazing. If you'd like a personal reading or healing at any time, first link down below will pop you over to my website. There's quite a few different options for you to check out. I have a freebie, a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to get started interpreting the cards for yourself. And there's also my more immersive tarot offering called The Initiation that is an immersive online course. In that one I teach a full foundation in tarot as well as my professional signature reading process uh, where you'll learn everything you need to read spreads and you know really find that intuitive story thread to put together readings for yourself, family, friends and hey maybe even paid readings when you uh, are ready for that. So that is there <clears throat> as is the link to my karmic community which is my free email newsletter and my instagram i'm very active and interactive over there on instagram but please do uh, look for the blue ticked account or use the link down below there are fake accounts and there are also people that use me as their profile picture strangely enough so look out for that you'll clearly know that they are fakes because they use different names than my name anyway let's jump in I'm starting with a Moonology Oracle card here, Scorpio, and I have You Are Good Enough. Full Moon in Virgo. Okay, so maybe, you know, you're going for an opportunity here and some of the doubts or the insecurities of, or fears might be, you know, arising. Well, this is a real, whoops, indication that you're good enough. I'm feeling sort of magician vibes here where you really need to, you know, believe in your own magic, okay, and confidently put that vibration out there. So you are good enough. All right, let's match that with a major arcana. So I have just the 22 major arcana cards here, Scorpio. And for you, we have the Hermit. Okay, that's um, the Virgo Major Arcana. So you might be dealing with a Virgo. That's two hits back-to-back uh, -back of Virgo energy. Now, the Hermit can be somebody who is sort of in their cave at the moment, and it almost feels like you're needing to, to come out, to come back to the world, to be seen in some way. Maybe, you know, you were trying to find a new path of purpose with the Hermit. Sometimes we can be in a little bit of a void or dark night of the soul with this energy. But you're being encouraged to come out of that now, to cross the threshold into the sun energy, which is a rebirth, positive new beginning. All right, well, let's see where this goes. You might have been going through like a healing journey, spiritual or emotional or physical, or, you know, deeply reflecting on the path ahead, Scorpio, as you do being a Scorpio. I know, I've got a Scorpio moon. Okay, let's jump in. Four cards from the full tarot deck, Scorpio. We'll then clarify them as we read them. Situational energy, four of pentacles. It's time to let go. It's time to rise up, absolutely. Your challenge is the five of cups here, okay. That's interesting. Let's get the advice. Four of swords, two fours and a five. Okay. And let's get the outcome. Temperance. Yes, gorgeous energy. Six of wands at the bottom of the deck. So I have this kind of energy of like a recovery or a healing journey here and you know, you're being told that you will heal and things will come into balance. And it feels like by December or like late November, because I've got Sagittarian energy coming through, that you are in a place where, you know, you're back out in the world and you're feeling confident and you're like, what we say, kicking goals here again. Okay. So you could have gone through with the Five of Cups and the challenge here, Scorpio, a loss or a disappointment or some kind of 
crisis here. Like I said, it could be physical health with the Four of Swords or there could have been a heartbreak or a disappointment or a loss here. And I think you've maybe been, you know, had your confidence knocked a little bit, I'm feeling. But your guides are saying, come on, it's time to get back on the horse. You know, we've got goals to kick. We've got things to do. And you, Scorpio, are good enough. Okay, yeah, I got five of cups again in the situational energy, but it's in reverse. So I feel like you went through some kind of disappointment or loss and really you're still in the recovery period. I mean, it could be the loss of a relationship, the loss of a job or an opportunity. And I feel like you've internalized a certain amount of that Scorpio. But what happens when we internalize it and sort of believe that maybe, you know, we were accountable in some way, we shut down our energy field, right? We close off the heart and we don't put ourselves out there. We go into the cave. But when we do that, we block off opportunities. So you're really being called to get back into vulnerability now, to put yourself out there, know that you are good enough, Scorpio, okay? So Four of Pentacles, really time for you to open up, to expand again. But the Five of Cups in the challenge is that, yes, you're still carrying some of that energy with you. I can see that. But maybe you're needing to reframe that, okay? Yeah, it's coming through with your Scorpio card, the Death card. So yeah, the, the death card here says that there was some kind of ending or loss that you're still carrying the energy with you. But look here, there's two cups right behind you. So I just get the feeling that there is a new connection, a new opportunity, closer than what you think. It's just saying, come on, Scorpio, finish this recovery process because we, we've got things to do. I've got two cards here of people moving towards the light, coming out of darkness, coming out of a depression or a healing here, transformed. We've got transformation in your life, but most importantly, Scorpio, we have transformation within yourself here. And the sun is about healing and it is also about illuminating a new path forward. So I know you've been in the void and it might have been a bit of a dark night of the soul. And during that time, we can often feel like we're alone and it's like where's my angel spirits guides go i'm not seeing angel numbers anymore or no opportunities are coming my way because really we have to complete that process that is completing now and i see you sort of rising like this this phoenix scorpio that you truly are so we've got you know from you might have gone through a real tower moment here but you know, you're healing and recovering because temperance, which is at the end of your reading, is actually the energy that follows on from the death card. So this is the time around this reading is when you cross the line into, okay, I'm, I'm kind of feeling better now and I'm, I'm ready to get it back out into life. And by December, I see that you're, you know, you've, you're fully there. Okay. Or late November. It's not that far away, guys. Okay. So the Four of Swords is your advice, and it's saying complete what you need to do here. Oh my goodness, there's so many double ups. That's the Hermit again here. Um, you know, complete the process, but it's also time for you to start thinking about the way forward. I see the Ace of Swords underneath you, and that for me stands for the new battle plan or the new direction forward, the breakthrough. It's coming, but it feels like you need to actively Put yourself out there in the world again and there might be something that I mean you might have been like if you've lost a job or something you might have been unemployed for a long time and you've sort of had that knock and there might have been some other disappointments along the way but the breakthrough is coming it feels like there's this period of stagnancy or stillness that is finally shifting for you so temperance is your outcome with the six of wands and it's somebody who's recovered from that hard time has their confidence back, their energy back, their power back. And of course, because our external environment and reality is really a reflection of, you know, who we are on the inside, that's going to lead to all those beautiful things. There goes the Ace of Swords actually showing up for you. So I have a powerful new direction here. And like I said, it's happening for you, not to you. And there was obviously you had to go through this and there was a journey here. But I feel that the victory, this is total victory energy, both of these, like a breakthrough victory or breakthrough blessing. 
is being prepared for you. Temperance talks about the right, you know, timing, place, uh, conditions for this shift coming through. So if it is like unemployment, you get an opportunity that you love. Um, if you're healing from a health-related situation, there's the breakthrough. You're back out there doing things before the end of the year. If this is around relationship and a broken heart, then again, you're healed, you're, you've got your confidence back, and hey, maybe you're even ready to put yourself out there again. So massive recovery, massive healing, a breakthrough energy, and things coming back into balance and harmony for you. But you do have two indicators here of patience with temperance and the Four of Swords. So like I said, I'm feeling late November, December, things are in balance, and it's almost like you just need to ride out the end of the process until then, Scorpio. And then, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, you know, you fully step into that illumination. So I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio, and I wish you the very best with this energy. Uh, if you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, please do follow the first link down below and you'll head over to my website. You can check those out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, hit subscribe as well before you leave. I'd be greatly uh, appreciative for that. I am just wishing you all the love and magic. Bye for now.